And your son wants to do slush streams like what the heck yours does. And today, we're back on Life is Strange for the Storm. Now, last time we did a stream at midnight, we started an episode at midnight, that was done at like. Half two, three o'clock ish, I believe. Which, yeah, was never the best of ideas I've had. So, yeah, it was all good and dandy. Um, however, this time. Doing episode 2, Brave New World. Now, last time, no, Rachel. No. First off, got beaten up at the party of concerts, on it? Then, almost got into a fight with some guy that you took over his nose on the way up the stairs. And Rachel saved Chloe. And then, it all went from there. Rachel saw her dad kissing someone. It all went on from there. It will all make sense in this episode. How have I done that with the Rubik's Cube? I have one side that's got the same colour. Previously, on two sides. life is strange before the storm. I can't believe help. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, David do something! I'll respect you. Do you know if Rachel is a gamer? Oh. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Well, this is how the whole, whole forest went down. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed mm -hmm. that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. 
We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I I'm promise. looking at it. This Rubik's Cube. Chloe, is this true? I see an orange. It's true. Seems to have totally not blue. true. Lost an orange. She really is an amazing actress. Yes. Miss Price. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Oh, Mom. Control. You have no right to coincidentally this way. X as well. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Oh, oh. Is it? <laughs> get it. This I've is about Blackwell's money it. troubles. Will you be dragging every Not other no. scholarship student into your office today as well? Damn. Let's all just calm down. After everything we, she's oh, yeah. been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber. I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. 
Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant, first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. Ah. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions beginning now will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me, both of you? I understand that you're a fucking- Chloe! We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, hey, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here.
jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Okay, yeah, I just had, uh, just had to borrow a slash. Yeah, I had to borrow a slash desperate time, you know. I promise I'll get... Uh, I promise I'll get you back next week. Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? I think this game kind of ironically has the least amount of music in it. And hi chat, I don't even have chat up. So hang on. But I think this game kind of ironically has the least amount of music in it. And it's only totally ironic because uh, it's also the shortest game in the whole uh, franchise. Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Um. I guess these would be these as well. I mean, so I asked for Alex. Yeah, you're born to be to buy. Drinking out of the train, okay. I'm not moving this up. I don't know if you've ever been safe from the train. And meanwhile, they'll be. Oh, we've got ready to pass out those. I'll tell you. So, I'll just. You know, it doesn't suck. 
He'll soon as well. Yeah. Uh, we should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. No, my fault. Both of them. Wells blows. I mean, hell, so. Go have a look. Oh, seriously. Oh, did you hear there's a fire for this tactic? Oh, don't worry. Are oh, you okay, Chloe? Please. I'm fine, thank goodness. Uh, come home by curfew. We have our meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe, really? But you can't keep doing this. So I'll try my best. Uh, no shit. Did you get rolls? Toast on pot. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just in my room. I have to tend this point. Fire with them day. Uh, Cody Bay Forest uh, Firewatch. Cody Bay or O two O two. Uh, yes, do so. Titan. Active class D wildfire. Not contained. Use caution. Check local media for close to. Or wells. Members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Coloration State Park. I've spoken with the okay and Forest Watch. Uh, we do not believe any evacuations are necessary this time. Uh, if Blackwell Campus is not even affected by all the fires currently projected to happen, please use some wise caution while travelling to and from the campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to engage with the authorities and all schools. Max would have loved this shit. Because of a generous uh, grant from the Prescott Foundation, Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed uh, to merge the artistic gifts for the students. Art 101, Visual Concepts, 102, Intro to Com Composition, 103, Intro to uh, Ceramics, 201. Max would have loved this shit. Uh, intermediate Photoshop, 202, Intro to Character Modeling and Animation, 301. Uh, photography, 302, and uh, in independent study by invitation only. Special thanks to Caroline Prescott. That'll play a role later down the line. I say later down the line, I'm, I mean the next game. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten until today. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Huh. What could the Tempest use more of? All that's left is oh. to get arrested. Damn time. David, please. I'll handle it. Chloe, after today. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? This isn't a fight, Chloe. It's a conversation. Remember that. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you oh. do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? 
Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. David, that's out of line. You weren't with us in there. Chloe was treated unfairly. Now you're making excuses for her? Chloe needs to take responsibility. I decide what Chloe needs, not you. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. David, do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, David. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. 
I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. I mean... I still don't... Oh... I've got another Rubik's Cube missing two bits. Ah. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Which would explain why one of them has two blues. One side with two blues. Because one of them doesn't have a black hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Mm. Fixed a bit of one. Just have to fix the other bit of it, and then it'll be up and running. I'm saying that like a Rubik's Cube can run. First off, if you have a single brain cell. Or if I had a single brain cell, no, it's a Rubik's Cube can't run. Where's the other one gone? How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to solve it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. I'm so bad at Rubik's Cubes. I'm just trying to solve the blue so I know what um, it's got to do, get a battery point in the uh, Battery, bat, battery. No, not going over there. I'm pretty sure that's Williams. Gotta be a radio.
Pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. Exciting is the perfect word, Stan. Thanks to a generous donation from the Prescott Foundation, Blackwell has begun shooting Fire poker. What Don't want green? to leave yet. That's the way out. Gotta do some posters. You're a long way from the beach. Uh -huh. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? That's got nine on it, so that blues on that one. There's got to be that animation plays out. Equip the blue back on there. So now I'm missing something else. And I can see what it is. It ain't a white. It's got three whites. So Missing. Like an orange or something. So I can't see it. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Mm, don't know. Here back. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Right, so we need a carpet, a flag that we saw, 
on the bulb. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. It's just you and me, you tiny weirdo. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Everything okay. is now. Let's oh, see what else this now. trash heap has to offer. I know one thing is my one's right. You here. might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Don't. Welcome up. You should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. Welcome up. What else? Is it? Oh, yeah, flag. Uh, yeah, that's it. The flag, then we're done. For this bit. The amount of times in this game that you actually, in, well, the amount of time you actually spend in this junkyard in this game, is, uh, quite considerable compared to the next game. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Then again, if you think I'm doing this game sparingly now, yeah, this is probably the one game that is going to be get, or going to be done sparingly. The other two, I'd probably sit here and happily cry. Yeah. Not sure what's wrong with the engine or how to fix it. Not. Deal. So we should have everything now. That I'm kind of going sparingly as well, in a way, because we're not doing the other two Lego games now. Because Lego Marvel took two weeks. And it's the smallest by a long shot, apparently. So. One is two. And that's three. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. It probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Bryce. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank, I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general, or to you? I'll see you soon. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. In my own time, I'm 
I'll say probably it is my least played Life is Strange game. In the other two, I played I'll play the first game like 15, 20 times already at this point. And the second game, I've probably played a good 5 10 times. Or 5 to 10 times already. And like, it's only all been out for a few months. By the way, the second game. I cannot make the first and second games would be oh, gonna breeze through that. Because not only are they my favourite two, I've played through them all and I, I kinda know what I'm doing more in them games compared to these this one. So yeah that's we're just gonna breeze through the second two. Shit. I slept all day. I'm sorry, three. The game we're doing after this. Is gonna be possibly a little slower. And then Life is Strange 1 is gonna be probably weak. Then Uncharted 4 is gonna be I want to say a week because I know that game is a fair bit longer than one, two, and three. Not like put together, but like on their own. I think in general, Uncharted 4 is like about 7 to 12 hours yeah. long. And Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 is like 6 hours long. Something like that. William got himself a new uh, bird. Dad, what are we doing here? Are you trying to tell me something? Dad? Dad? Freaky. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Dad? <laughs> I wonder if it burned like what this the day, the day it happened. miss him so much. Dad? Oh. A third beat of Agam Marshmallow is right there. Well, I was gonna like find so.
51 minutes. I think this is another like two and a half hour. All of the lizard streams end near about half four ish. Or mm -hmm. like half an hour. Make it walk. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, I can't look hour. away. He finally speaks. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Person would have said the light, or no. But sometimes, oh, beautiful. That's there's a greater beauty yet to come. Yeah. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you oh. need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. It's definitely not blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's white. Because there's no, there's nine blue. Eight white. Which one is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Never mind. It's not white. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Oh, uh, you did. So, are you going to invite me in, or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A freaky red light? Look at that little dude. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <laughs> like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am, I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. 
Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone mm. thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Yeah, There's just this dildo these with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That so was this is going on like actually doing somewhat it. therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like mm. being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know.
I'm doing a bunch of some water. Something else. Like some why? Of course. And he's on about getting it in, like, in that kind of a week type. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. I have no My idea. My dad doesn't really exist. What, you saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing I don't know how long this episode is. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. It's three hours? Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Damn it. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, Maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. If you wait, you forgot your bag. Follow every possible dialogue it's and the exploration you. option. You can Just spend a little survival five kit for new life on the, the lamp. Drive safe, Chloe. No. <laughs> I know I like this game. I don't like Albert, so. Oh. I'm tired and I'm from like an hour. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. Ooh. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Yeah. the end of the episode, I need to say. This place is the shit. It's like... My junk fortress of solitude. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Enough messing around. Bad time. The official state nut of Oregon, for some reason. So get out there and buy a jar of Ted's hazelnut spread today. I'm just looking. Ah, one quick. Enough messing around. Bad time.
I know there's one in episode Enough three, and you need to take a certain <laughs> choice like in episode an two for it. In the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Stone uh, carpet. Third school. I think we got the punk belt on. I'm a good man now. Why not? Hey. Okay. Right. Why are you buzzing? You don't buzz. Buzz. Galaxy S5. Screen doesn't even work. No, oh, I wanted that. Not that. I don't think this one's actually here if you don't have to do it for this one. I have it. The Illuminati one. I'm going to be the biggest lead. I'll have two of them then. Both playing different things. I made through my whole playlist as well last night. I lost my FM in the middle of the night. Because I fell asleep with them in. Woke up and then one of them was under my bed. So I had to pull my bed out to get it. Frank says, I go. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's Ooh. dad. We that woman are going to play. Yo, Frank. Later. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. Something's about to go down. Something's about to go down, boy. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that look up? God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. No. Uh, did I hear the bad news? I'm just like some good news and stuff. I'm um, too. I finally got busted uh, yesterday. So I was about to go to. Uh, 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 Chloe David's trying to leave. So just, I didn't like uh, like that he asked you to empty your pockets, and then you were completely honest. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Maybe I just need space, okay. Maybe I need my door back. Uh, I'm at the junkyard now. Uh, ah, I heard you got suspended. Sorry, yeah, I rolled uh, one against walls. Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. Rachel. Oh, okay, you think these guys have a long line of text? Wait until Life is Strange. 
I'm pretty sure Chloe and Max have like one of, if not the longest, string of texts. It's probably like, it's either Chloe and Max or Chloe and Rachel that have the longest one. Um, it's pretty close. Uh, Chloe Price. I don't suck. You really don't. No one thinks I do. Uh, don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there. Grabbing something from home, then I'm, then I'll meet at the junkyard. Uh, see you really soon. I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Hey there. <laughs> it's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadour, get up here! Pompadour? You little killer. Oh, Tempest is gonna be awesome. Like, awesomely bad, I mean. It's gonna be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about the uh, suspension. Okay? Get him fine. Uh, it bulge, uh, Frank and his BFF. That's nope. Is this what I think it is? Ah, uh, shit. I'm in the red. I mean, not as bad as Drew. Oh, Drew's in a thousand. Closing that. Chloe's actually not that bad. I mean, second half of this one. Not by uh, that much. Drew. Time to find oh, out what Frank this wants bit. to discuss. This, I'm pretty sure, is leading up to. Hey, Pompadou, you grow a fair bit, actually. Is this it? From, uh, this game. This game. Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was I'd that? I actually laugh. What the woman? Woman? Someone... The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <sighs> okay. There you go. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad is into bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway. You and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. 
You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Right. We're going and doing this then. I'm pretty sure this is moderately close to the end or halfway through off of memory because if I remember correctly this is where oh this is where you have to take a dialogue option do I want to do it though? I kind of need to decide now because I can't remember what dialogue option off the top of my head it is but I know it's a specific dialogue option because I remember in my wow. original playthrough I didn't take it and there I had to play nothing. this the last two episodes again because I didn't take it. I can't remember. Hang on, I'm going to have to Google it. I remember I took the wrong one originally and I can't remember which one I took originally. Uh, hang on, back at school yet. Yeah, they've got some tents up for dressing rooms. Uh, what are you up to? I'm here. Two actually running an errand for my dealer. I really so bad. Uh, come see me when you're done. Uh, help me cope with this uh, with the shittiness of seeing uh, VC in my costume. Yeah, sure. Right, I'm gonna have to strange before the storm. Oh, Drew Graf. I know that you have to take a dialogue option in this episode. Because this is the part we're coming up to where Drew actually gets sent to hospital. Aha, here you go. Uh... Yeah, it's this one we need to take. Uh, this graffiti depends on the situation of the game. When you uh, may have Drew or Mickey sick. For Mickey, uh, so. Oh, you can do it with Drew or Mickey. I thought you could only do it. Right. I'm going to try and get the Drew one. And get into the dorms. I'll remember how to do that one easier. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. I was trying to get Rachel, Drew in the hospital. Obviously. Because of uh, that one might be easier. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see oh. me on parole? 
I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was it. totally worth it. Completely skipping not Skipping with Justin. Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Thing well, to yeah. So, what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. <laughs> it's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. <sighs> I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Right. Okay. We can speed I'm through intrigued. the next bit now. Go on. Like Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban. There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh, I mean, that's Rachel's business, or maybe yours and Rachel's business, but if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... it's confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? Really you know you can, right? Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, Steph. No. Have fun storming the castle. Locked. It's funny, in these toast streams, Figures. I probably end up... Looks like my options are become um, a master lockpicker or... Swipe someone's keys. Singing random songs that are the most. Oh. Bingo. We got to swap this guy's keys. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? I'm pretty sure. We do. Evan's subject line. for the day. Better you than me, bird. Ugh. Evan would follow that bird off a cliff, but I'd settle. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude. Why do you care about, like, questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, y you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Coming from the guy literally wearing... Well, 
I wasn't gonna bother trying to say. I was gonna say. Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Where's the hair on your Did head? Did you know that? It's fine. Well, sorry, yeah, I don't know. The first sign of greatness is people disliking hey, you. If you were stuck in isolation, in anyway, head. you're not yeah. supposed to be here. My you should leave. Just be a hat. Because there wouldn't be any point if you wearing that. Uh, Evan, no, subject for the day. Uh, Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan on. is right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. <laughs> Time for a fresh start. <sighs> Here we go. And off we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... That works. <laughs> I'm trying to keep just remembering a code in my head that we need. Uh, coming up in the next bit, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, so, Samuel. I'm just sat here in my head saying this code. Why not? All right, time to find Drew's room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. No time I like should the present. Have it. Speak to Max in the next game. Yeah, that is questionable. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Uh, listen to your opponent and choose a related combat. With my Elite 2 apparently dying. I hate to do this to Skip, but... I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official oh. business? Uh, Women's you... business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. <sighs> it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? 
You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? Uh... Friends don't violate each other's civil liberties, Skip. Good one. Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Uh... Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Oh, I was just, thought this was his day off. Uh, I'm at, uh, how's it going? Have you found it yet? Uh, Charlotte Man, it's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. Ah. Sha -da 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 -da. I'm gonna sneeze. Please don't. Alright. Which me, one though. is Drew's room? Uh, ABFW list. Oh, wait, what? Fire weather update. Arcadia Bay, Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay, OR, uh, 04 51 pm PST, Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Uh, culmination State Park, fire now at 50% contained. Sorry, uh, State Park now 50% contained. Additional road closures, check local media. No. Yeah, wait for me. Great season, Mondo. Good look at state. Uh, wait, board. Great game, you're a beast. Need to talk with you, Zap. No. You wait for me. La la la. <laughs> No one in? Pizza box. Good. Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, well, where would, where would I hide my money? Is the money in there? Where's all right. Uh, right. I think I know the password for this. Hey. Yes. Thank you, Steve. This is kind of fun. Oh. <laughs> Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Watch it. As soon as she goes to leave, someone will walk in. Okay. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. Oi. Uh oh. Hey, Michael. Elamon. Chloe, what are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Go down. Uh, 
shit, dog. You're making me think you're nervous about something. About to trip over his nose again, are we? Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Cells are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Uh, Sorry to have to do uh, this, kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck. Let me go! No! Your brother said to stay inside. That's the one that you need to take. It'll be okay, stay with Mikey. Mikey. Mikey, sorry. It'll Mikey. be okay. Yeah. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Ugh. Ugh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew? You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah. No. No way. What? Um... What are you going to do? About Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. I wonder what Frank's going to have to say now uh, after Damon showed up. I mean, luckily it wasn't whatever the other guy's called. You know, the one that you could trip over his nose and fall down the stairs. Trip over his nose and land on concrete and then majorly smash your face up. Yeah, by the way, I'm never dropping the fact that you could trip over his nose. Because there's a character in Pokemon Sword and Shield that could quite frankly do the same. Listen, there, O Paul. Old woman with quite the lengthy nose. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're known for your long nose at this point. You're a gym leader as well. Uh, good luck, seniors. Hey. Um, 
This day has been so messed up. Uh, Chloe and Steph, I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey told me uh, what happened. Four rooms. What? No. No, hang on. Uh, Porter, I'm so stunned. Thank you for what you did. I didn't do anything. You held on to Mikey. He told me. That's uh, before that having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be Rachel. V, you got this. You got this. Oh shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? <laughs> Oh, or did you forget? Is. You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Uh. Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of... social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? You've seriously lost your mind. Do you see any members of the Vortex Club in this play? Newsflash. Theater isn't cool. People love theater. It's cool. High school is war. Theater is that part of war where you get impaled by a spear and you shit your guts out and then all your friends abandon you. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. Mm. You know the phrase, drama queen? It's not a good thing. It's the thing no one wants to take to the prom. Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. Oh, I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater. You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit. The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Sweet party. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is Whaley. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. Good luck with your train wreck. 
Touché, Fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that yeah, the entire really fate school. of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. That's what I sit here and do, like when I'm not streaming or playing games and I'm watching YouTube. What's this? Or if I'm in a lengthy cult scene. Uh, what did Rachel send? Oh, wait, Frank sent some. Um I, I saw his statement he said he had to come down hard, didn't you see? What happened? Did you find the money? Prize where's the money? This is serious quick fucking around. Unless you're dead, reply. Uh let's meet tomorrow. Have answers. Uh and Okay. Uh how's your super long errand going? You know, crazy shit happened in his room, like, really bad. I know you're okay. Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Too many people around now. Uh, I'm backstage. Great. I'm on my way. Where do you go? I can't leave go? until I've looked at the script at least once. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't use it anyway. I seriously have to memorize... Use it. I'm not going to read all this. Uh, mess it up. Uh, buy some stranger. I don't really know what. Uh, Chloe, the show's starting. We've got great seats. Where are you? Oh, you'll see. Great. I'm, from what I remember, this is literally a one cut scene that you press a few buttons in. So if you hear this, sorry. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. Oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> oh, All hail, great mistress. Idiot. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Uh. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most 
Mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, hell is fall. So, uh, therefore, uh, uh, now's the time to die. If only. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle in gr groups. What's Juliet's ETA? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Watch it, her ETAs as this ends. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My, uh, equality? No creature may come near to equal Prospera. That lies beyond my power to bestow. Just send me away on my next errand. Please. Thine eagerness doth merit a reward. I press thee once again. What's thy demand? My liberty. Thy liberty? <laughs> Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit. Take my hands, most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes, and when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou? To my most hopeful wish. Say yes! yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do.
Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending... absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Was that real? Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself. Filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you! Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is... super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but tis a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Oh. Do you love me? Oh, heaven. Oh, oh, I've heard our jacket on. Bear witness to this sound. Weird. I am beyond all limit of what else in the I world cold, do love, prize, honor. Nothing else. My body his is cold. His tears run down his beard My like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. See, this is My charms I'll break. And Their yeah. senses I'll restore, and they because shall be themselves. Me. Except the sink and the kettle. Now <laughs> and two things remain then. all overthrown. And what strength I have mine own. Pray, release me no, from my bed. With Coffee. the help of your Sugar. good hands. Then I'm just going. Wouldn't have that one. I won't even read chat this screen. So sorry if you've been saying stuff in chat. I've not read it. And I've not read it because uh, I've not had chat open. So I can't see it, therefore I can't read it, therefore I've been sat here for two hours now. <laughs> it is 25 to 4. Because apparently it's very hard to do when I start the stream. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs> if we go off the length of the other episode, there should be about half an hour in this stream. This episode left. We'll learn who that one is. Uh, uh, oh my god. We'll learn how, who that woman is, I actually believe. Now? I think in one of the upcoming scenes, in the end of this episode. Um. Because that woman. I mean, people probably know by now. Is actually related to Rachel. But. We'll learn more about her now from uh, 
<laughs> Rachel's dad. <laughs> oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. In the dead of night, I'll make you in my sleep. He was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Like a dream come true, I'll take you where I want. Nice stuff I have on my wrist. He's mad. I have one. One. Two, three, four, six, seven things on my wrist, and like one next what's on. My dear, and just to be frank, like none of them like the basically have a clock. of our production Either. rests like, this upon I've had on for slender shoulders. <laughs> two years, not come off. I've never Obviously, had an experience had time like that on stage. I was because it's yeah, untied. Right? Yourself. You know, I've tied about you, together. Like seriously, I love but, like, nights after you know, I've about together. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. I keep joking about getting so, this older one. First time. Uh, Legend of Zelda base one or something. Everyone murders me when I mention it. <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been... You're not going to get a Zelda one. Freaking intense. Man, I had my eyes on the Zelda bracelet for the longest time. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay. The whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. I don't know. Yeah, I usually have me watch this, like, little wooden... I'll, I'll put a picture of, like, everything I usually wear on Snapchat. On Instagram, sorry. If any of you were interested. Um. Well, <laughs> everything's been magical since we started hanging Cause, out. Because, trust me, I wear quite a few extra things. Like, some of these stuff I've had on for years. Like that necklace I've had on for years. Let's leave. This, like, bracelet thing I've had on, for real? Pr I think, ever since I've had it. For real. This huh? wooden one's you been on ever since I've had it. Yeah, no, no. Like um, got this like little leather bracelet thing. <laughs> that came off. I've been thinking it had like a little thing tied around it. That came off though. But the actual but like leather bit of it doesn't. Was... I've got two wristbands. One's thought. yellow you mean and says nothing. Can tell. You want this. It said something yeah, at one point. But it came off. Like, I forget what it said though. Eventually. Let's go then I've got now. another black one that just says fearless in red. Didn't we already agree on stage? Then I've got like we can't a, a just... yellow rope. <laughs> Why not? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like the greatest idea anyone's ever thought That's of. That's the thing. You and me, driving down the coast, filling up our like truck with life. hilarious like, things like, and every night staying in one place to for find years. a different beach to walk along so. and watch the sun go down. Right. I just go love this constantly. time of night. And you're never like <laughs> all on in one place. Feel like everything's all the possible. Time. <laughs> um. Rachel, stop. Um. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about? That was one that I was like, why not?
Oh. Is that convincing enough? I could be more convinced. I've got to save something to bribe you with if you change your mind later. I won't change my mind. What if I said let's leave tonight? Uh, really? What is this? I did not realize the height difference. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. That sounds perfect. Why the uh, height? You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star bit, uh, returns. Hopping. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. I can lie, prefer my queen. Please don't quote me on that or hate me for that. I know that was a terrible one to say. And I promise I will never say it again. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe. I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner? I think this next part is Please. quite literally uh, <laughs> Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Damn it. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, 
I'm mm. gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. I don't think she is, though. Uh, so. so, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Uh, hey, Chloe. She's out of surgery in pain, but okay. I'm not sure I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah. You still can help me. Sure I'm just gonna see you during the play. Well, uh, I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. It's off to the table with you. Just a million. Just a mom, just call me. I'm gonna play tonight. I'd like to see that. Uh, kind of just happen. I know it was a last minute. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, it'd be nice to see you tonight. If you want to please play on the show. Right, I'll step on it. Uh, hang on. Uh, I heard you were in the Tempest. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says uh, that show was awesome. You get two. Yeah, medals are two good deeds today. Drew's okay, Michael text you a bit. Actually, uh, Tom both, I'm pulling. Pull Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Rose, one out. Yes, Chloe? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I 
We're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but... Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Uh, Rose? Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh. It's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. And smash it. Save <laughs> Okay, more dialogue unlocked. Yes, Chloe? What else? Don't say that anymore. I feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the, the candles. The lighter is in the cool. I'm not I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. Time to light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. <laughs> the Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. 
It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us, family. Family's not merely a gift, it is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> you blow me, Rachel. Wow. Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker! Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Happy morning, well, I'm born at film. I was out of a headache. Three, two, one. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Oh my god, I love this song. Probably my favourite song in this game. Shadow settle on the place that you left. Now that I think about it, I think this song's in the first game as well. Troubled by the emptiness. Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time. From the perfect start to the finish line. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky one. Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs, setting fire to uh, our insides for fun, collecting names of the lovers that went wrong, the lovers that went wrong. Ah, oh, Joyce. I've lost it all on just a silhouette. On the lifeless face that you'll soon forget. My eyes are down from the words you left. Ringing in my head when you broke my chest. Ringing in my head when you broke my chest and if you're in love then you
Cause most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing love I forgot the actual name of this song. Also. But there you have it, guys. Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 2. It's an interesting one. It opens up more stuff into detail, but closes other stuff. Like, it closes off the stuff with Drew and all that. You know, what's going on with him and all that. He closes off that, but opens up some other ties and kind of wraps stuff off with Chloe and all that stuff. Um, from what I can remember, though, next episode is... I want to say, like, an emotional one, but I don't think off memory it is that emotional. Definitely nowhere near as emotional as uh, Life Strange 1, Episode 5. That... That... I The first time I played through that game, it didn't get me. I, you know, I wasn't really that phased about it. But then, really, like, the second, like, see, like, every probably other time I've played through it, it gets me a bit. Like, Life is Strange 2 got me. Like, because that's the thing as well, it's like, on my second playthrough of Life is Strange, when I understand, or understood it more, um, that's when certain stuff started to get me, and all that. Because back in 20... what was it? So I was 17 or 18 when I originally did Life is Strange on the channel. And I know I did it. I can't find the videos though. Because I only put one of them in a playlist. Which is why I'm kind of going through doing all the games again. That and... <laughs> Life is Strange 2 episode 5 is still missing on the channel. Because YouTube won't upload it. So I'm just going to export it from Twitch. <laughs> That's not going to be for like another month or so yet. Um, but yeah. For the storm. I'm going to say it now. This game probably won't get me. Because. End of the day I played it once like a year ago. Like a year ago is my first time playing it. So it has kind of all gone out of my memory. I'd say if anything. Life is Strange 2 is going to be the one that gets me the most. Because I've played that one the most recent. I did it here on Twitch as well. Um, no, I did it all on Twitch. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did it all on Twitch. You know, I streamed the whole lot on Twitch. Right. Like, Life is Strange 2, we did fully on Twitch. Got every collectible, got everything. Um, episodes 1 through 4... Are all up on YouTube as well. I'm gonna redo episode five when we get our first community. We will get all the collectibles out. Uh, basically, to remake the uh, video for YouTube. So, yeah. But yeah, life episode two. It's an interesting. I'd say this game is definitely an interesting one. Um, but I guess in a way they're also kind of limited with what they can do because. This is the prequel to the first game, which is why I did this, or which is why I'm going to do it, as in this game, the first game, then Life is Strange 2, not uh, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, then Life is Strange 2, they came out, I'm doing it, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Life is Strange, then Life is Strange 2, um, but obviously when we get to 2, uh, that one's going to be a bit longer, because it has the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit that I want to do as well because that ties into the second episode so yeah but it's basically when we get to Life Strange 2 that's probably the longest one because it's six episodes in one. and I'm pretty sure well, it's, it's technically six episodes long. the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit an hour and a half to do if that uh, um, but I think in, I think uh, both the next games are like an hour and a half. So that was easy to 
episode. I don't think we go over the two hour mark. But yeah, quickly we'll go uh, over these. So, I can't tell what it says in the uh, Brave New World. Yep. Uh, you took the blame for Rachel. 72% did that. You went along with Rachel's story. 28%. See, I find it interesting going for these. Um, yeah. Or the least common uh, ones at times. Well, obviously, going into them, I don't know the, the least common ones. But I do find fun in going for both. Because originally on the channel, if you go back... I, I can't find it for the life of me. But I know it's on the channel. If you go back to when we originally did Life is Strange on the channel, the first game, I remember in that episode, I found out, on one of the episodes in that, I found out that there was a alternative ending for Kate in that game, which we'll get into with that. Um, obviously, we'll get into when we're doing Life is Strange 2, which is... I want... No, Life is Strange, which I want to say is... a week or two away. Um... It's either happening next week or week after. Um, because Uncharted 3, I don't think it'll take me that long. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that um, later on. But I do like going for the you know choices that have the lower percentages. Just because it, it can genuinely be fun at times. Because you know, most of the things you see on YouTube and stuff go for these higher percentage ones. Like, you know, you took the blame for Rachel. You emptied your pockets at David's request. Uh, you stayed with Mickey. Mikey, I need to stop calling him Mickey. Or I'm going to start calling him Pluto this rate. And you asked Rachel for a piss. I do like going for the other ones. The other times. Because it can be interesting. So, yeah. There's the choices. If you're wondering for the friends, they don't appear. I do have people on my friends now. Shit! Yeah, what's the phone for next episode? No, 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 don't start the next episode. Don't start Hell is Empty yet. Please don't. But yeah. I wonder what the forest looks like as well after. This is the save file I originally had when I played through it in my time. The forest reverts back. Like. I have an unfair well on mine. Save it. I'm probably not going to either. Because, you know, I've done it on the stream. Um, hold on. Good. Yeah. It's been an interesting one. Episode 2 is one of them, really. Because it gets to the point in the end of the day where it's like, you know they can't really do too much in this game because it is a prequel. And... Um, so I like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are the chances I walk up and just fall into the wind? Oh god. But, yeah, it's one of them where you kind of know they can't do much with the story of this game. But in, if you play the original Life is Strange before this game's out, there was mention of Rachel. Chloe wondered what happened to her and all that, because you know, Chloe didn't know. Until, like, one of the later episodes. But it makes for an interesting storyline, this game, with this game. So, yeah. With that out of the way, guys, it's been, what, two hours and 37 minutes? And I'm going to leave the stream, the stream here. That's so I was... It's hours to 37 minutes. I'm going to leave the stream here. I'll see you guys later. Have peace. I need to get a drink.